welcome back to Nightly Nerds. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. And we're playing... Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Final Mix. I'm actually going to put on the Aladdin Keyblade this time. Oh, yeah, you forgot to last time. I forgot. Well, so it's like, the Aladdin Keyblade is really good, because if you, if you notice, they're two different lengths. Shorter Keyblades will hit faster. Oh. oh. And you prefer speed to power? I do. Always. That's uh, well, You do have a shorter length, so. I, I mean, you're shorter than me. Yeah, That's all I, I meant. That's I all do. I meant by that. I do. Your legs are a little shorter. I got you. So you gotta walk faster to keep up with my long legs. Uh -huh. Just making sure I got the best strength items on right now. And we're gonna double check my abilities. And yeah. And unless I have uh, any AP ups. Do I have any AP ups? I do not type defense ups. Nope, that's it. All right. Huzzah. And the reason I always like going to Halloween Town first is once I learned, learned this, like Halloween Town is like one of the best uh, mid game keyblades for a while. All right, so we found that we got the forget me not from Sally, if you don't remember. And we're trying to comprise the heart. We can live like Jack and Sally if we want. What is that from? It's uh, a Blink-182 Blink song. Oh, that's right. Uh, I can't remember the, the name of the song right now. It's uh, it's from the, it's from one of the ones like in the like 2006. Missing you? Yeah. Yes. Miss you. Miss you. Or something. I can't remember. That's the. I don't know if that's the name of the title or not. Where are you? And I'm so lonely. I cannot dream. I cannot sleep tonight. I need somebody and always. Yeah. The sick, strange darkness. It's creeping up so haunting every night. Like indecision to call you. Yeah. I I will forever be a huge Blink fan. I even though what's his name went insane and is now trying to uh, infiltrate the CIA and find out about yeah. aliens or whatever. <laughs> Hey, they may be insane, but their music's pretty damn good. It is. No, it's just, it's just, it's just, what's, it's just, what's his name? Oh, I know. The, <laughs> the higher pitched voice one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Adam. It's not Travis. I did watch it an is. interview with Travis Barker recently. It was really interesting. He talked about his uh, plane crash. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still a tad bit loud. Yeah, I'm turning it down. Just a tad bit. It was really, yeah, it was really interesting because uh, and I did a little research on it. It's, it was really sad about it. It was the uh, it two pilots and it was the, f the female pilot was the, she didn't have as much experience, but she was the, uh, she was the pilot and the, uh, the male guy who was older and more experienced was the co-pilot. Oh, yeah. And it was her fault. So really? what happened is they were they were taking off and then they had a blowout. But they were they were basically beyond the point of no return, which means you have to take off. You can't stop now, so you have to take off. And then you can actually land with a blown out tire. It's not that it happens more than you think. It's not safe, but it's not as dangerous as what she did. She tried to abort, and you could hear him saying, "No, no, no, we have to go, we have to go, we have to go," and they crashed. Oh wow! Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. And basically, the only two survivors, from what I understand, were Travis Barker and then his friend, who's a DJ. Oh, wow. Who actually put his legs out. His legs were on fire. Oh. Because he had to run through the fuel to get out of the plane. And everybody else was dead. Pats. It was horrible. Wow. I think what it was is the co-pilot, even though he had more experience overall, had less experience in that type of jet. Yeah. So she was the pilot. But it was like, man. Oh, I hate these freaking guys. They reach a certain speed, and when you reach a certain speed in that type of plane, it's like you have to take off. Okay, killed the one. I hate these things. I have to. I have to kill them later because I need the for freaking rare synthesis materials. But man, they're annoying. They shoot like gas out or something. They do poisonous gas when they're vulnerable, but they go full full steel when they're not. And oh, so you, so you have to take damage to do damage to them, or do damage to them, and it's just like. Because if they're full steel, you just bounce off. You can't. Yeah. 
Can't even hit him with magic. Alright, killed the one. They're great for experience because they give like a shitload. Alright. Trying to remember. Can't help myself. <laughs> Who can? If you can't. If you can't help yourself, then you're Danny a madman. Danny Elfman, yo. You're a madman. Who is like, uh, what's her name? The actress who plays Dharma and Greg. Oh, I don't know. I can't off the top of my head. It's, her last name is Elfman because her husband's an Elfman and it's like his nephew or something. Oh, goodness. I didn't know that. I don't think Danny Elfman's a Scientologist, but she is and so is the nephew. He might be too, which is, which is weird. All right, so we open up. the music's fantastic. We open up that fast exit. Let me go back inside and then we go check out the tree graveyard or the tree gravestone. Eek. Oh. So, one thing I don't like about Kingdom Hearts 1 the most is um, you're locked into battles. Yeah. Because you can't interact with anything while you're in battle. And I was just like, oh, I'm glad they fixed that with Kingdom Hearts 2 because, my God, that's frustrating. Like, you couldn't open treasure chests, you couldn't interact with, like, Exits if they were uh, if they required an interaction prior to you leaving. Shut tight. Do I just need to take the? Yeah, I think I just need to take the skull, the Jack in the Box back to uh, Finkelstein. To where? Doctor Finkelstein. Oh, Doctor Finkelstein. Jenna Elfman. So she's related to. Uh, there we go. Now I can do it. To uh, Danny Elfman. Yeah. Like by marriage. Dee do do. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Dr. Finkelstein. Yeah, because uh, this is now where we get into worlds where they get slightly lengthy with, like, quests and stuff. And uh, I'm just trying to avoid getting caught up in battles and making extra long. So what is he building? He's building a heart. A heart. Oh, no. Lock, shock, and barrel. They stole the hut, those rascals. <laughs> I believe too. Yep, there's Torn Page. Because we're gonna collect all the Torn Pages, and we're gonna go give them back to Pooh's book, and we're gonna do that as one of the last worlds. So, um. We lost them. Huh. Anyway, breaking through that cutscene. We need to see, we're gonna say something, Jack, or? No, I'm just calling Zero. Quick. Anyway, because you said little, you said those rascals, and reminded me of little rascals. Yeah. I remember I was just, I was recently talking with somebody. And we we're talking about how could people like uh, this goes to Cosby is where I'm going with this, <laughs> because like there's that it was like a like a uh, an open secret in Hollywood that he had been accused of uh, raping lots of different women yeah. the way he did, but like most of the public didn't know until it broke when Hannibal Burris made it public. And yeah. then now, you know, he's in jail and everything, which is crazy. But um, I was like, was like this whole thing, like, well, how could people not, you know, say something or do something? It's like, well, at the same time, that rumor was around. There was a much more popular oh, rumor God. that he had bought the catalog. I was going to tell you your health was low. I well, should have said something. It wasn't beeping, so I didn't really pay attention to it. Yeah, I noticed it. That's why I just didn't. I thought you did, too. I thought you were okay with it. But it's, um, it's topped off now. It's all moot. Um. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize you were doing that earlier. Yeah, it's creating a, sh a shortcut because normally to get to the, to get into here, you gotta uh, kill everything off and use the tombstone to get through. And uh -huh. We're gonna kill these guys again. <laughs> anyway, um, there was a rumor that he had bought the catalog for Little Rascals because he saw because it was racist for against uh, black people, and so he didn't want it to be shown on television anywhere. And of course, it turned out not to be true. 
it just wasn't shown because it wasn't popular anymore because it's a really old show. It's a very old show. But I just think that's funny because a lot of people who thought that was real until like recently when people look it up and find out it's not true. But it's like, I don't know. It's like, that's kind of the reason why. Like, if you don't actually have firsthand knowledge of the things going down, you don't want to be the one to, you know what I mean? You don't want to be the forerunner. Because what if you're wrong? Exactly. And now you're getting sued for libel or something or you've ruin someone's career. So I guess like, it kind of makes sense of how that could happen. Outside of the people who had direct knowledge, those yeah. people are, have problems. Like with Harvey Weinstein, same thing, mm-hmm. you know? I guess it's, it's easy to be judgmental of a group of people when nobody said anything. Outside of people who had direct knowledge, those people should be ashamed. Yeah. Because you're practically complicit at that point. I think I have to kill these guys. Yeah, I have to kill these guys because I can't interact with the door. I do like the uh, the design of the Heartless here. Oh. I freaking love it. And then like they continue these on even though it's like... It's like they really went all out on this world. Oh, they did. And all they do it on a lot of the other worlds too. But it's like some of the worlds fall a little to the wayside. Ow. Come on. That should do it. Yeah, that should do it. You tap your chest. Tink. <laughs> I love that. Oh, tap, and, tap, and, and because blades. I'm using a because I'm a using a metal keyblade now, it makes the metal tink sound versus yeah. the bone. Tunk tunk. Yeah, but now I don't actually have to Plus, Jack is a freaking badass and just kills them all. Whee! Stop trying to auto lock to the enemy. <clears throat> That's this way. So, where are we going now? We're going to get the heart. Oh, that's back right, from, from uh, lock, lock, shock, shock and, and barrel. barrel. Yep, yep. That's right, I forgot. Alright. And I think... And... That will end this episode. Yes, it will. Alright, everybody, that's going to end this episode of Nightly Nerds. As always, I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, did you like that video? Well, if you did, click the box on the right for another. Click the box on the left for a playlist. Of course, you could always just subscribe by clicking the link in the middle. Come find us on social media. There are links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. See you then. Bye.